Okay, I'm not going to get the whole thing in, obviously. Just, you know, I'll apologise in advance for the messiness. Mmm, wow. Fat, juicy meatballs slathered in mayo and spicy sauce. We've got some pickling going on. We've got some lettuce cups going on. These are my banh mi meatball lettuce cups. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to tackle here are those juicy meatballs. I will not have anything to do with a hockey puck meatball. We have a little technique here for getting the softest, yummiest meatballs, so let's get going on that. Panko is the secret here, as is a little bit of milk. So we're gonna make a little mush, uh, and this mush is gonna keep everything soft and juicy throughout the whole meatball. Now, just give that a mix. You want to give it like a minute or so, literally that, until it just kind of looks a bit plump, if you like plump. I don't know, till the panko absorbs some of the milk. <laughs> All right, so this is the kind of situation that you're after here, that breadcrumbs nice and soft. I'm gonna go in with some pork mince. So you could do this with turkey, chicken, beef. I like the pork mince because it's like a little fatty, which also keeps things juicy. And now we're in here with some garlic. And then we're doing a bit of seasoning. So I want some fish sauce. The fish sauce really gives you an added extra to salt. Yes, it's gonna make it salty, but we also get that extra umami kick and also that Vietnamese kind of flavor that we want. And then a little bit of sugar. So this is like a little secret ingredient that will help everything. It's not about getting sweetness, but it will help everything caramelize in the pan. Um, and also that combination of like fish sauce and sugar to me is a very Vietnamese flavor. So. There is method to the madness, everyone. And a little bit of salt. And now for a bit of greenery, a bit of flavor, we want some spring onion. Now you want to mix this together, but the key is not to overwork it. So I want to keep this nice and loose because when I'm biting into my meatball lettuce cup, I want everything to kind of like dissolve in a lovely, juicy, tangy mess. So just until it comes together. So I like to let my meat mixture just kind of hydrate a little bit. I like to let that fish sauce and the sugar kind of work its flavor magic in there. So just a few minutes while I do the carrot. Now for me, like a banh mi, you know, sandwich, the flavor is that like porky goodness, but then it's also that pickled, like fresh pickled vegetable kind of flavor as well. So that's what we're doing here. I'm gonna take some julienne carrot or, you know, some coarsely grated carrot is fine as well. Add some sugar. Some vinegar. A pinch of salt. And then this part here is optional, but you know me guys, I love to add chili to like almost anything. <laughs> um, you could leave the chili out or you could use cucumber as well, that's quite nice. Or even uh, daikon as well is good, I, I've done that too. So anyway, chili. Now give that a mix, I like to do that with my hands, just kind of massage that into the carrot a little. Lucky carrot getting a massage. <laughs> okay, so that just needs a few minutes. I'm doing a very fresh pickle here. So just while I cook the meatballs, I'll just set it aside. And now for the meatballs. So I like to roll, get them straight in the pan because I mean, who wants to mess up another tray or another plate? Because that just means more washing up. And you guys know, I hate the washing up. <laughs> All right, hot pan, put a little bit of oil in there. And then a good tip here is to just wet your hands with a little bit of water before you start rolling. That'll keep things less messy. And now, so you wanna keep everything nice and loose here. As I said, I want that meatball to just fall apart when you bite into it at the end. So I don't wanna pack these in too tightly. And then straight into that oil. So these just need like a few minutes, two or three on each side. I just want a nice golden color just like that, lovely. And you know what, that smell already, like that combination of the fish sauce and I'm getting some like chari, sugary kind of smells and a little bit of that spring onion as well. Ah, oh, so good. Okay. 
Okay, these guys are looking really very pretty right now. Look at that lovely color. Look at that lovely gloss. You know, that's all that the sugar, what happens is the sugary fish saucy seasoning sort of juices come out of those, a little bit comes out of those meatballs and then you get that caramelization and then it all kind of, you know, thickens up a little and gets nice and glossy. Now we're getting to the best part of the video where I get to eat something. <laughs> so you want to get yourself some lettuce cups. You could use cabbage as well, that's always really nice. I'm going for like an iceberg. I want like a nice good crunch, but baby cars is good too. And then you want some of your pickled carrot and chili. And then a couple of our nice juicy meatballs. Okay, now we go in with some like mayonnaise squeezing skills here. Let's see how we go. <laughs> I'm using QP because I like that like tangy, you know, and I love being able to do the drizzle, but you know, you can just spoon on some mayonnaise, your favorite mayonnaise too, if you like. And then of course, because you know me, you gotta have some hot sauce here. I'm using my very own coconut sriracha, but any of your favorite hot sauces would be great here. Or a sweet chili is good too, if you wanna keep it mild. And just to finish off, you want a little like kind of smattering of greenery here. Got some coriander, you could use mint too. And there you go guys, juicy meatballs, bar me style with the pickled veg and the mayo and the chili sauce and all the things. <gasps> Let's get in. Okay, I'm not gonna get the whole thing in, obviously. Just, you know, I'll apologize in advance for the messiness. Mmm, wow. That meatball texture, perfect. It's just like a little pillowy cloud of like porkiness. Mm. That is so fresh. The herbs, the coriander, the chili, the pickled carrot, it all is just like one big little party happening. Yum.